Well, today is July 24th. It's around uh, 10.30 at night. Uh, the place where I dip netted last year, Fish Creek, they have opened it up again. They opened it up today. So I'm in the process of building me a dip net. I have uh, some 2x4 or no, 2x2s. I have uh, some PVC. I have a larger PVC. I've got, I've got I already cut one of these. It's in the toaster oven. I'm trying to melt it. And uh, got some connectors, some glue, my uh, my net. And uh, if my plan works, my vision works, it's going to cost me roughly about $55 to build this. So the plan is, my dip net, my net can be up to 5 foot. And so I'm going to take these and put them on the end of one of these uh, PVCs. I'm going to bend it. I'm also going to put another shorter piece in there to make uh, the loop kind of big. I'm going to melt the PVC and I'm going to shove the 2x2 two two into it so I can actually make it 16 foot long. The legal length is 24 foot. And then I'm going to uh, hold it on with these. So right now I'm just waiting for the plastic to get hot enough in the toaster oven and hopefully I can hopefully it's pliable enough I can stick the 2x2 two two into it I think I'll glue the nut up right now all right so I have the net put together the only, the only little thing I'm going to do is I also bought a uh, cheap cheap garden hose I'm going to go ahead and cut it and put it on the bottom of uh, the hoop this is going to be the bottom um, so it will protect the net when it's rubbing against rocks and I'll zip tie that on alright so I've got my piece of wood on there I've got my hose at the very bottom. Uh, right now I'm trying to fit the PVC over the end. I've got it in the toaster oven and I've actually got some wood shoved into it forming it but it's not all the way through yet so I've got another piece of wood here. I've kind of rounded off the edges. I'm hoping to pound that in there far enough that uh, it'll basically go all the way through. And if I can get that in there, I'm going to try to get this one in here. Because this one's bigger than 2x2. Two two. This is like, well, it's a 2x4 cut in half. And so I should easily fit over those when I uh, let it cool off. So... I know it's dark in here, but we've got the piece of wood in there, shoved in there. It's square, one end. So hopefully I can get the, shove it the rest of the way it's, it's pliable. So we'll see what happens here. All right, well, here it is. There is some room for improvement. You can see how it's not square all the way through, so uh, it's tight on, on this end here. It's really tight to get on the thing on the 2x4 or the 2x2. Two two. But this side's really nice and easy. Uh, so uh, now it's just a matter of well, it's midnight, so I really can't bang it on there. I might be able to take it inside and bang it on there, though. Yeah, I'll do that. I don't think they're going to meet. The, they're not going to meet in the middle like I was hoping. But uh, maybe tomorrow I'll heat it up with uh, the torch 
and uh, shove this piece of wood in here all the way in there. It's a long one. And uh, maybe that'll work. Work a lot better. Well, I shoved it on there real quick. And it's going to work. So, there you go. Homemade dip net. Dip. 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 Homemade dip net for right around $55. Thanks for watching.